Hi, I'm Heather Casper, the Curator of Education at the Minnesota Marine Art Museum in Winona. I'm so glad you have an art kit and I'm thrilled you found this video. Your art kit was made possible by a grant from the Minnesota State Arts Board. Our Arts Access Program Second Saturdays has gone virtual. Check out our website to find Second Saturdays Home Edition activities like videos and interactive games for the whole family to enjoy. The Minnesota Marine Art Museum collects and exhibits art inspired by water. This is the most famous painting in our collection. This is Emanuel Leutze's Washington Crossing the Delaware. And although we have many famous artists, this is Vincent van Gogh's very first oil painting. Let me show you the artwork that inspired the project in your art kit today. This is Alpine Lake Scene by Herman Herzog. Notice the impressive sky in this painting. The clouds range in color, brightness, and intensity, which gives this sky a real sense of drama. The focal point, or spot where we tend to look at first, is right in the center of the clouds, the brightest spot where Herzog uses pure unblended white paint to portray the bright sunlight coming through those clouds. Notice the mountains and how they appear softer and fainter as they um, recede into the distance. This is a technique called atmospheric perspective, and it's a way to show the illusion of space. Now let's look at the figures mulling about fishing on the shoreline. We can even notice some smoke coming from a dwelling in the mid, uh, middle ground. Herzog wanted to show us people living off the land and living in harmony with nature. It was this painting, especially these fabulous clouds, that inspired us to create your cloud wall art hanging project. Let's get started. Let me show you what's in your art kits. You have a fun Second Saturday sticker and a handy how-to guide. You have a clump of yarn. Your yarn's going to come like this, and one of the first things you'll want to do is organize your yarn into pieces. You'll have three really long pieces, three medium pieces, and four short pieces. You also have some pre-cut white felt circles, a piece of blue felt, a piece of blue foam, and a piece of white stiff felt. Now your tints and shades of blue may be different from mine. We gave you two needles in case one breaks or bends, two toothpicks, and this really fun bag of beads. Some are glow in the dark, metallic, and even pearlescent. What you don't have and you'll need to grab is a pencil and a pair of scissors. Let's start with our first step. We're going to draw and cut out our cloud onto this stiff white felt. When thinking about drawing your cloud, you might want to think about a pyramid shape that really maximizes all of your felt. And then you can add kind of three bumps on each of the sides. Once you've drawn your cloud in pencil, you'll want to use your scissors to cut it out. Let's make our tassels. You're going to want to take one of your really long pieces of yarn. It's about three yards. You can pinch between your fingers and wind it up like this. Or if you want to use a cell phone or a deck of cards, you can wind it around that. Once you have all of this yarn nicely wound up, We're gonna carefully slide it off of our fingers, phone, cards, and kind of find the opening. We're gonna take one of our medium lengths of yarn and thread it right through that hole. Our next step is to tie a double knot, and we wanna leave enough length here so that this string ends up being one of the tassels. So give yourself a little length. And then you can see that that will hang down. So now let's cut through our loops with our scissors. So you're gonna put one side of your scissors through the loops and pull kind of tightly and cut it straight. Now we'll trim this at the end, but now we're gonna add a little bit of a neck 
to finish off our tassel. So we'll take one of our short pieces of yarn, and again, we're going to tie a double knot. And pull these tassels down. So we can trim off the ends to get the shape that we want. So there is one finished tassel and you're going to repeat that same process with the rest of the yarn. You will have one short strand left over and that will be to add the hook at the end to hang it. In addition to the white felt shapes that we gave you, the next step is to cut some additional small shapes that we can string onto your tassel along with the beads. You may choose to draw these shapes first, lightly on your felt or foam using a pencil, and then you'll use your scissors to carefully cut out selected shapes. Now once you have a variety of shapes you want to use, we're gonna take your toothpick and pre-punch a hole in the center so that when we use our needle later, it can easily slide through our shapes. You'll want to do this with your white circles as well. Let's add the beads and shapes to our tassel. The first thing we're going to want to do is thread our yarn onto the needle. You're going to want to leave a nice long tail so that it doesn't slip out. I'm going to start with a felt shape because I don't want my beads sitting right on the tassel. So my first step is to tie a knot in the spot that I want my beads and shapes to be. And once you have that knot, you can pick your felt shape or foam shape and slide that down. Now your felt's going to hold whichever beads you choose right in, the, in that spot. So let's go with this metallic, glow in the dark, and silver. Now, if you did not want to start your um, little section with a felt shape, let me show you how to start with a bead. So you'll choose the bead that you would like and slide it into place where you'd like it to be. If you want it to stop there, you'll take your needle and double back through. Whoops, I've slid that. And this is going to kind of lock it in place. But let's make sure it's really going to stay. And we'll go, we'll just do that same thing again of looping that yarn through. And now this gold bead is in place on our tassel and you can add uh, more beads on top or more shapes. Now, once you have your whole tassel um, done with beads and yarn, we're going to complete this same step on the other two tassels. Once we have our three tassels all beaded with our shapes added, we're going to attach them to the cloud. So we'll use our toothpick again, and we're going to need to punch holes wherever we would like to attach those tassels. This is a little trickier than with the softer felt, so give it a nice wiggle to make sure you're making a big enough hole. You're also going to want to punch a hole in the top of your cloud so that we can add a loop to hang it with. There. Once we've got all three of our holes punched, we're going to string our needle again onto the end of the beaded tassel. We're going to push this is a little stiffer than the soft belt. We'll push that through, slide the needle off, and then we're just going to tie a double knot.
to attach our cloud. And you'll want to trim this tail and slide the knot up the back so that when we turn it over, we have a clean tassel. So you're going to do the same thing with the other two tassels and tie them on. And then using your last short piece of string, you'll need to thread that through the needle and create a little loop to hang it from. And then your floating cloud wall hanging will be all done. Thanks for making art with me today.